awesome the stuff they do with fake meat here god damn that is good but that's really good like you need to come here for that like for a day oh my god change your life hey everyone i've been in ubud in bali for a couple of weeks and one of the reasons that i've loved being here is the amount of vegetarian and vegan food that's here so bali generally has heaps of vegetarian and vegan food options the vast majority of residents here are hindu and so a lot of them do eat a vegetarian diet as well as being ubud i think a lot of tourists do come here for a bit more of a spiritual or health focused experience which often lends itself to vegetarianism and veganism so it means there's heaps of choice here and i'm going to show you the restaurants that have really stood out to me that i've absolutely loved in ubud and i hope you enjoy our little food tour i'm going now to swasti beloved cafe it's a vegetarian place it's down like an alleyway it's a pretty nice walk but it doesn't look like much from the front so i'll take you there <laughs> The grounds here are absolutely beautiful and massive. There's also places you can stay here as well as like yoga and a spa and stuff. So lots to explore here, but the cafe is just up a little bit. They source a lot of their like fruits and veggies from the grounds, which is amazing, and from local sellers, which I love. They've got like Western food and also like Balinesian food. So lots of choice. grounds here are beautiful so it's nice to like walk around while you wait for your food and there's sheep hi you can see all the veggie patches looks and smells incredible so i got the jackfruit rending a massive bowl of this curry oh it feels hot Mm, oh my god wow i've never had jackfruit like that like it's soft and stringy and kind of meaty and that curry is like oh my god it's buttery and like creamy and spiced oh my god that is up there with one of the best curries i've ever had that that's amazing and it's even more incredible that it's vegan. That's really good. Like you need to come here for that. Like red egg. Oh my God. Change your life. <laughs> and it's got like a side of veggies, which is cool. It's like charred kind of pumpkin. Mmm. It's good. And beetroot and zucchini. Um, so nice. I'm really, really happy. I have been here a couple of times and gotten some different things. It's all been amazing, but this is the best thing so far. <laughs> I have to show you this jackfruit. This is really cool. Hopefully you can see this. Like it's like stringy and meaty. It's like it falls apart. So good. That was honestly incredible. I ate it all. It was huge though. And I got the hibiscus lemonade as well. I forgot to talk about, but it was very tasty too. So honestly can't recommend this place enough. If if you're in Ubud, you need to come here whether you eat meat or not. This place I'm going to take you to is called Talasi Vegan. It's amazing. It's like tucked down a little alleyway on what is otherwise a pretty busy main street just near Monkey Forest and the food is so good. <laughs> heaps of choice in the menu as well. Look at those prices, like 45,000. It's so cheap. There's heaps of Indonesian food. A bit of Western food. And desserts. The menu's definitely falling apart, but I think it's part of the charm of the place. It's 
So you enter in through the back and there's a beautiful garden area that you can sit in. It's getting a bit dark, so I've come inside. There's heaps of indoor seating as well. It runs all the way through. The place is massive. And they are so lovely. I asked them what they recommended and it's an Indonesian duck dish. Oh my God, this all looks so good. I don't actually know what it all is, but wow, it smells amazing too. Oh my God, I don't even really know where to start. This is all amazing and they're all little like baskets. I'm gonna start with this. Uh, it looks like it might be tempeh. I think is it. Mmm, it's tofu. Mmm, teriyaki like honey glazed tofu. Oh, that's good. Okay, these are like little chunks of fake meat. Mm. Oh my god, that's incredible! Like it's bitey and like, meaty chewy it's kind of spicy and it's just like sambal or like those kind of spices wow that's amazing i need like a bowl full of that that's awesome <laughs> this little curry here as well it's also cute all little portions of these mm, oh my god that's good that's different to other curries i've had it kind of tastes like like curry powder sort of that like that flavor of curry that's good mm. Sort of like croquettes, I guess. It looks kind of like croquettes. I think there's corn in it. That looks amazing. <laughs> mm. That's good. It's like sweet, sweet corn croquette. Incredible. And there's some greens too. It looks like there's like some I don't know, spices in there too, though. Wow, that's like curry. That's spicy. That's good. It's amazing how you can make like just greens taste that good. The richness and depth of all the flavors here. So good. Now, I'm gonna get into the dock. I cannot wait, but I have to show you. Look at that dock. Layers and like the crispy skin. I can like just hear it like, it's so crispy. It's awesome, the stuff they do with fake meat here. That is so tasty, it's hard to explain. The fake meat has like, almost like fat layers through it. Like it's really soft and buttery. And then the crispy skin is amazing. It, I've never had duck admittedly, so I don't know what it tastes like, but that is like earthy and rich and just like, it's amazing. I'm really impressed with that. Like I'm impressed with all of this. It's exceptional. I love this place. <laughs> I got a barley orange juice that has like carrot and ginger and stuff in it. Looks like it's fresh, mix it up. Oh yum, that's refreshing. Definitely needed the spice. I am all finished, that was so good. I honestly cannot recommend this place enough. The staff is so lovely. There's heaps of really nice places to sit. Everything on the menu I've had is amazing. And the prices are so good, so definitely should be on the list. place I'm at now is a Warung, which is like a traditional Balinese, like locally owned restaurant or cafe. I love this place because everything on the menu you can make vegetarian or vegan by subbing out meat for tempeh or tofu. And they're really lovely and super accommodating. So I cannot wait. I, I got the satay tempeh and I've come here a bunch of times because I absolutely love it. So I have my food. Oh my God. Like. How amazing is that? And I can't believe it's vegan. I love the satay here and tempeh in Bali is amazing. I didn't realize it was Indonesian then, so I've been getting it a lot since I've been here, which is awesome. And these little sticks, um, but these cubes come off it. And I don't know if you can see it in the light, but they're like charred, like grilled. Oh my God. God damn. That is good. The satay is amazing. Like it's a little bit spicy and it's sweet and it's peanutty and it's everything you want. And the tempeh is like perfectly cooked. And the fact it's like charred and kind of crispy is like amazing. So good. I love this place. 
I've had the coconut curry as well, and that was awesome. But I reckon the satay is my favorite thing here. And it's only 35,000, so it's like so cheap <laughs> for dinner here. It's exceptional. I love it. I'm all done, and that was awesome. There's <laughs> still some like wedges and stuff left on there. The amount of temper you get is so good, it's super filling. I love this place for like the quality of food, the price, and how lovely everybody is here. Like it's definitely worth a visit. Again, like I'm sure the meat options are good and it's awesome to get everything for the cheese. So definitely recommend. This one behind me is called Sage Vegan. It is just beautiful. Come in and been seated and it's surprisingly busy for like five o'clock on a Thursday afternoon. It's beautiful, it's all green and airy and amazing in here and the staff have been really lovely so far and all of the food I can see around looks delicious so I'm looking forward to this. This looks so good, colourful and tasty. This looks amazing and I can't believe it's all vegan. It's got a little note on the fork, which is very cute. It's got some kind of sauce with it. Ooh, zesty, like ranch maybe. I'm going to try that tempeh first. They do awesome stuff with tempeh in this country. Mm. Oh my god. It's good. It's rich. Kind of like chickeny, like buttery. Oh my god. That's so good. The beetroot's crunchy and. Wow, it's like charred. And the carrots look like they are too. Mm. That's good. Oh my god. It's like salty and sweet and charred. Like for a bowl of veggies, I didn't know how much flavor it would have, but. I'm very happy with this. This is really nice. And it's got brown rice, which I love. Mm. It's fantastic. And I got a watermelon juice. Yes. Why not? That's good. I'm very happy here. This is amazing. That was delicious. I've eaten all of it. It was so good and fresh and like everything was cooked amazingly and seasoned so well and it just felt super healthy which is absolutely what I've needed after silent day where I ate nothing but two minute noodles which I'll put the link to below if you're curious. <laughs> good to have some vegetables. Amazing. Um, it's a little bit more on the pricey side. Still like not too bad for a pretty nice place but definitely more expensive than some of the other vegan places around but I rate it. It's very nice. Thank you guys so much for coming with me on my little veggie and vegan tour of Ubud. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know below what are your favorite Indonesian foods and then I can try to find vegan versions of them. If you like this video, if you could please like it below, that would be amazing. And if you could subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Otherwise, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.